you know, when when it comes to Michael here, there, there's there's a, quite a few tools I'll use. I'll use this tool and I also use another tool called Keyword Everywhere. And I'm always trying to figure out, you know, the initial volume of a keyword. Um, and then I want to start to find variations of that keyword and also questions and related keywords. So this kind of now starts to open up the prospect of, of what am, what what's available <clears throat> in regards to also finding uh, trending topics. So if I put in the live streaming, I can see in the United States, I've got 48,000 hits a month. This is monthly. I can also see the difficulty of this keyword. And so depending on the strength of my, let's say my website, um, this will tell me how difficult or easy it can be to rank for this keyword. Uh, based on the competition. I can also see globally. I can also see across multiple countries. So there's a lot of ways to start to understand this. And then you'll notice here, this keyword is listed as informational. There's four types of keywords that you can find. There's informational, there's um, navigational, commercial, and transactional. So understanding, and those kind of fit in that buyer's journey again, uh, at the top awareness in the middle decision at the bottom consideration. Um, if I'm trying to create content, around a specific topic, then I'm more interested in the questions. So I can see the questions that are being answer, asked online. Um, and I can also see the volume. So then this also helps me determine how do I position this, this, you know, if I'm trying to optimize a live stream or if I'm trying to optimize any content, you know, I'll use this to kind of really formulate the title. So I know, I know I'm not building a beautiful castle in the middle of the desert where no one can find it. You know, so this is a great tool, but if you want to go free, you can always go with the uh, the the, uh, the Google's uh, Keyword Planner as well. But this is one of my favorite tools because this is where I start even with my keyword research. The other aspect is you mentioned that I did in a, a six part event that was really on competitive research. And, and that's another place to find great keywords is by making sure you have the right competitors because your competitors could be ranking for things that you're not and now bring new keywords onto your radar.